Okay, let's handle this decimal equation. So uh, definitely um, you're going to need your calculator. Okay, so go ahead and get your calculator. Get this one right here with the buttons, the one that you hold in your hands. It could be on your cell phone, whatever the case is. You're going to need a calculator, but you're also going to need, need that other calculator, this one right here. Okay, this one located right there on the top of your head. So this calculator tells this calculator what to do, okay? So yes, you need a calculator, a calculating device, but this is the real calculator right here, okay? This guy right here. So if you don't know uh, what buttons to push on your calculator, guess what? You're just gonna get a bunch of wrong answers. But decimal equations don't have to be uh, difficult. Matter of fact, decimal equations can be even fun. And if you've been confused about with them, you know, or about decimal equations, or equations in general, then stick around for a couple minutes. We'll try to clear up your confusion so you can get on the right track with your uh, algebra course, your algebra work, because this is kind of like pre-algebra, basic algebra. But um, it is important, okay? If you're taking that level of math, yeah, you know, and you're watching this video, you absolutely need to know how to do this. We're going to get into exactly, precisely how to handle this problem in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. That's a pretty bold statement. I'll let you be the judge of that. Um, if you're interested, you can check out my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra, Algebra 1, Geometry, Algebra 2, and now finally pre-calculus. Um, but I also have many, many courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, ACCUPLACER, um, ALEX exam, CLEP exam, GRE, GMAT, teacher certification exam, ton of other type of exams, guess what they all have? They have math. So someone out there thinks math is pretty important. If you don't do well in the math sections, you don't do well on these exams. So I can help you prepare. Just go to my website, check out my full course catalog. If I don't have your test that you're studying for, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. Um, I also do a lot with homeschooling. So if you homeschool, have a great homeschool learning program, then obviously I help those of you who are just having a tough time in your current math courses. Now, if you're truly serious about wanting to improve and learn math, then you have to be serious about this. That is a note-taking. Okay, so I've been teaching math for decades, and the one thing I could point to with consistency over all those years is that those students who take great math notes almost always end up doing very, very well. And the reverse is true. Those students who were like me way back in the 1980s, and what was I doing back in the 1980s? I was taking notes in math class, but they had nothing to do with math. I was like, hey, Billy, what are we doing this weekend? Oh, we're doing this. We're going to meet up at this place. But da, 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 da. Well, guess what? I used to end up with grades like that. And that was probably pretty generous. But uh, if I had a cell phone back in those days, okay, I think I probably wouldn't be even making this video because I probably wouldn't even graduate it because cell phones are awesome. Uh, smartphones are awesome, but they're completely, totally distracting. So they take your distraction to the next level. And the key to uh, success in anything is focus. Okay, if you can't stay focused all the time, you're gonna have to t you're gonna have a tough time learning mathematics. So work on your focus, and the best way to do that is to stay engaged in taking great math notes. Now, as you improve in your note taking, you can use my notes to study from. So those would include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, now, if you think you could do this problem, go ahead and pause the video and do this, kind of check your understanding. But what I'm going to do here, uh, very quickly, is let's just do a kind of a more basic version of this problem. Okay, let's just check to see how well you're doing now, uh, which is equations in general. So before we move on to this decimal equation, can you solve this equation? All right, so it's basically it's the same equation without decimals. Okay, so if you can solve this, then that's kind of like a good first kind of uh, step, you know, that we need to check that, all right, no, you know how to deal with, you know, these type of equations. Now, the decimals here, we're dealing with kind of integer values. All we're going to do is just replace these values with decimals, use our calculator, but we're effectively going to be doing the same thing. So let's go ahead and check for um, how well you understand how to solve these basic equations. Yeah, I would encourage you to pause the video, see if you can uh, solve this, because I'm going to solve this right now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is apply our knowledge of the distributive property right here. Now, I don't want to turn this whole 
uh, video and took a complete lesson on solving equations. That's too much. I would suggest checking out um, other videos. I've done a ton of videos on solving equations. You can find them in my pre-algebra and algebra playlist, or maybe you just want to just sign up for my pre-algebra algebra course. You'll really, really learn this stuff. But the first thing we need to do is do the distributive property. So this is going to be 2 times uh, 3t. That gives us a 6t plus 2 times this 1 is 2. That's equal to 8t minus 3. All right, now in algebra, uh, what we want to do is whittle this guy down into like a one-step uh, equation. So we want to get all the variables on the left and all the numbers on the right. So this guy needs to go over here because that's a variable. We want to combine it with that 6t, and this 2 needs to go over there. So how do we do that? Well, you do it this way. Okay, so let's just deal with the 2 first. So we're going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation. Remember in algebra, whatever I do to one side, as long as I do it to the other side, it's totally allowed. Now I'm going to add down in a column manner. I'm doing, this is, you know, a very, very quick review of this. I'm not trying to turn this into a complete lesson because if you don't understand what I'm doing here, you need to go back and review more fundamental, basic equation solving. That's perfectly okay. Just know where you stand in your current skill sets. All right, so 6t plus nothing is going to give us 6t, or positive 2 minus 2. That goes away. That's what I was hoping for. And then we have 8 t minus negative 3 plus negative 2 is negative 5. Okay, now we're looking pretty good here. So now I just need to get this 8t over to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 8t from both sides of the equation. All right, so now I'm going to add down. Okay, now I'm kind of rushing a little bit here because I want to move on to our problem, but I want to, you know, walk through these steps because these are the same steps we're going to need to take in this decimal equation. So we've got 6t plus negative 8t. This is negative 2t is equal to 8t plus a negative 8t. That goes away. Uh, that's what we're hoping for, and that's just going to leave us with our negative 5 over here. All right, so we have negative 2t is equal to negative 5. So to solve for t, I'm going to divide uh, this equation, uh, both sides of it, by negative t or negative 2, excuse me, so I get t is equal to negative 5 divided by negative 2, negative divided by negative is positive, 5 halves. All right, so if you uh, got this right, then I must in turn give you a nice little happy face and a couple uh, check marks. All right, this is pretty, pretty basic stuff, but if you can do this, there's no reason why you can't do this decimal um, equation. We just need to do the same steps, but we're going to use our calculator to do these calculating, right? We're just... You know, don't feel like you have to do the calculations uh, by hand. Use your calculator. Calculator is a tool. All right, so let's get to it. So here is our problem. So the first thing we need to do is we got to do the distributive property. Right? Now, why that is? Well, you want to go back and look at more basic videos. But anytime you have a, sum or a number being multiplied by a sum or difference and there's a variable in there, you got to take care of that. That's your, always going to be your first step. So I'm going to have this negative 0 0.03 times negative 0.7t minus uh, 1.6. So we're going to take this decimal in our calculator, multiply by that decimal, and we get negative 0.021t, uh, 0.03 times this 1.6. That's going to give us this negative 0.048. And that's all we want to do in our first step. We don't want to take too many steps at once. A lot of students you know, mess up. They're trying to do everything at one time. Uh, step. No, you just whittle this problem down step by step. All right, so on, on the right-hand side, we're just going to rewrite it, and now that is our first kind of step. We're applying the distributive property. All right, now let's take a look at uh, kind of our equation now. So remember, we want to get our variables over here, all right, on the left-hand side, and we want to get all our numbers to uh, the right hand side. Okay, variables to the left, numbers to the right. So this guy, okay, he's on the wrong side of the field. We're like, hey, we're going to have to move you over here. And then this 10.4t, uh, we're like, we're going to have to scoot you over here. And we're just going to move one at a time. So we'll start off uh, with moving the number uh, over. Okay, let me scroll down here. So let's take care of this negative 0.408. Let's get rid of it on the left hand side and move it to the right-hand side. So how can I do that? Well, we can just add 0 0.048 to both sides of the equation. Remember, in algebra, whatever you do to one side, as long as you do it to the other, it's perfectly fine. We don't break anything. So now, at this point, we're going to add down in a column manner. Okay, so negative 0.021t plus nothing, negative 0 
uh, two, one T, and then these guys cancel each other out. Negative point zero four eight plus a point zero four eight. That's zero. That's what we uh, hope for. And then ten point four T plus zero is just ten point four T. And then we have this negative three point nine plus point zero four eight. Use your calculator, okay, um, to do this stuff, and you're going to get negative three point eight five two. All right, so this is where we're at. We got all the numbers to the right, but we, now we have to get all the variable terms to the left. So let's take care of this 10.4t. And we're going to do it the same way. We're going to subtract 10.4t from the right-hand side, but we have to subtract from the left-hand side as well. And then we'll combine like terms okay, by adding down in a column manner. So negative 0.01t uh, plus a negative 10.4t. Again, use your calculator. Uh, it's going to give you negative 10.421t, all right? And then these guys go away. That just leaves us with negative uh, 3.85 plus nothing, and that's our negative 3.85. So we're, you know, we've come pretty far. Now we have this nice basic one-step equation. So don't let the decimals intimidate you. Just use your calculator. Make sure you, you know, you're very accurate uh, with your calculations. But here's where we're at, okay? We're now to this basic one-step equation. So we want to solve for t. I have negative 10.421. t is equal to negative 3.852. So what do I need to do? Well, to solve for t, to get t right there, I need to divide both sides of the equation by that coefficient. Okay, so let me scroll up. So we're going to divide both sides of the equation by negative 10.421. And so here we have a negative divided by negative. I know the answer is going to be positive, so you can kind of skip putting in the negative. You, there's a... Um, a little button on our calculators looks like this typically that makes a number negative it's not the subtraction operator okay so you don't have to hassle with all of this because you just know negative divided by negative is positive you know if you don't know that then this problem you're going to have a difficult time not only with this problem with other problems so you could just type in 3.852 divided by 10 uh, 0.421 you just forget these signs because you know the answer is positive and this is what you're going to get okay now uh, you, of course, you can round off to whatever decimal point the problem might require, but this is it, okay? Now, if you got this right, I must, in turn, give you a 1984 flat top. Now, typically, if you watched any of my other videos, I like to give Mohawks, but in this particular uh, video, I'm going to give you a nice 1984 uh, um, flat top with an A+. Plus. Uh, very, very good. This was a cool uh, haircut as well. I don't see flat tops around. I don't see mohawks around. Maybe for good reason. You know, who knows, right? Yeah, everyone is, you know, moving on with style. Style kind of goes, you know, here and there, here and there. But maybe one day I'll start seeing those flat tops. But uh, unfortunately for me, I don't have that much hair uh, left anymore to get a flat top. I wish I could. Anyways, the point is, great job. Very good. Okay, if you got this uh, problem uh, correct. Now, uh, this problem, I would say, is uh, medium level, not that difficult. So don't you don't want to get overconfident. And the worst thing students can do is like get one problem right. So they'll they'll go to their homework problem, their homework. Uh, let's say you have 20 questions on your homework, and you're like, uh, you get one, two, three. You do a couple, you get them right. You're checking your answers. You're like, yeah, I know this stuff because I got this one right and this one right. I don't need to bother with all these because I clearly know what I'm doing. Well, listen, that's a formula for disaster when it comes to math. Your teacher is assigning you a variety of different type of problems. So don't, you know, get overconfident with this stuff because there's, you know, I could make this problem much more difficult or, you know, decimal equations, et cetera. But listen, you know, that's why you got to, you know, do everything your teacher's asking you to do, right, for the most part, right? Um, you just can't try to cheat taking home, uh, doing your homework. If you're doing your homework a little bit here, a little bit there, that's not going to work as you probably well know. If you're taking a little bit of notes here and there, a little bit of homework here and there, guess what? You're going to end up with grades maybe like this. Okay. Maybe even worse. So again, everyone can learn math, but you're going to have to, you know, uh, do your part right now. My part is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. And if you kind of like said, hey, you know what? I understand this stuff a little bit better today. Well, then please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over 1,000 plus videos, basic to advanced mathematics. Again, uh, you know, my passion is to help those of you, you know, overcome 
your math problems, all right? You know, if you're having difficulty learning your math, and, you know, I try to always teach things in a very clear and understandable way. So if you like my teaching style, definitely take advantage of these videos and the videos I will be posting um, uh, weekly. I post videos every week. But my best math help will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics uh, journeys. Thank you for your time and have a great day.